Hi, my name is Kayla and I help business owners with QuickBooks Online. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a common situation if you find yourself in this pickle. So let's go over to the menu and let's say that you're going to the reports and you're coming over to the profit and loss just to check it out, review it. And let's say you fix the date, you come over here and you know that your business goes on the cash method or the cash basis. So you change it to cash because you want to see the report showing by the dates that you were paid, not the dates of invoices, but show me my income based on the date that I was paid, not the date of the invoice. So if you know that's your type of business, officially, you know, this would be officially, you should check with your accountant if you're not quite sure, but officially, you know, your business is on the cash method and you purposely change it to this setting. We come over here to run the report. And let's say that you're reviewing it and you notice something, unapplied cash payment income with an amount. What is this? Why is it here? Is it supposed to be here? And how can we get it off of here? Okay, so the first thing is, logically, you might want to just ignore this because, now don't ignore it, but it might be logical to ignore it because it's saying it's unapplied cash payment income. So you might just assume, oh, this must be income I received that was paid by cash. So that's actually, that would be very logical to think that, but that's actually not what it means. So basically, this is here more as kind of flagging you. It's trying to bring something to your attention that something needs to be fixed or corrected. So it's best not to ignore this. So let's check in by clicking on the amount itself. So we're going to click on the 477.50 to see the transactions that make that up. So let's see what's in here. Okay, so we have two amounts that cancel each other out and then 477.50. All right, so here, there's actually are the two most common reasons that things end up in this unapplied cash payment income category. So the most common will be this bottom situ um, situation. So click on the amount itself click on the amount and let's see what's happening. Notice that this is a payment. So this is a payment meant for an invoice. All right, so notice we have recorded a payment was received towards an invoice. However, notice the bottom. No invoice, there's no invoice checked off. So this is meaning we recorded a payment as received, but QuickBooks doesn't know what payment does this invoice belong to? So this is why it's called, so you can kind of ignore the word cash. It's more just saying it's an unapplied payment. It's a payment that is not applied to any invoice. Where does it belong? So this is where we can fix it by checking off the invoice that it belongs to. If maybe you were just in a rush, you created receive payment, but you never actually created the invoice, then just go ahead and do that. Create the invoice, come back to this payment screen, and then the invoice will be on this list for that customer. All right, so let's, um, and also here, notice that this is using projects. So in case you use sub customers or projects, make sure you're using the same sub customer or project that you selected on the invoice. So payment and invoice should both say the same customer, sub-customer project. It should, it should match up here. Okay, so here let's say our payment is really for invoice 1036. I check it off. All right, so I received 477.50 and that was paying this invoice. So let's save it. Now, before I actually hit the word save, you might have noticed this situation from a different screen in QuickBooks. So I'm gonna show you if you found this from a different view. Let's say that you are in sales or invoicing on the menu and you're in either all sales or invoices and on your list, you notice a payment, but the status is unapplied. So you're trying to figure out how to correct that. So that might be how you came across this, this issue as well. 
So if you notice it's unapplied either on the profit and loss or over here on this all sales screen, the same thing, just click into it and then check off the invoice that it belongs to, save and close. All right, so notice it's gonna take it off of our list. Great, so we've got that cleaned up. If I refresh the all sales page, it will update the status. Now it knows where that payment belongs. So notice the invoice for that amount is paid and that payment for that invoice status is closed. So everything is good now. All right, so now let's see the second most common situation why you would have anything in unapplied cash payment income is this situation where they're canceling each other out. So notice the total zero. So on your profit and loss, it will say zero. So you might think, well, I don't really need to take the time to fix this because they cancel each other out. So it's no big deal. Well, I view it as it's in here in the first place because it's trying to bring something to your attention. So it's worth investigating why is it in here because it might be something is wrong. So if we come into unapplied, the reason that it's in here is notice the invoice is dated February 2nd, but our payment for this invoice the payment is dated February 1st. The payment is before the invoice. So this is where QuickBooks is trying to bring this to your attention, asking, is this correct? Are you, are you sure this is what you want? Did you get the payment before the invoice? So that's where they're trying to bring this to your attention. So it's good to check that out. So in our case, oh, this is actually an error. We do need to fix it. The payment was on a different day. So let's fix that. So in your case, it might be that maybe accidentally the invoice date is wrong or the payment date is wrong. And if you also, if you did this because of a credit, you were trying to show like a credit for a customer, um, there's a better way to handle that. And that is for another video, but that might be a reason why this ended up here in the first place. But usually it's here just by mistake. It's just, just change it to the correct dates and that'll, that'll fix it. So here, let's fix it by clicking into the payments. We click into the payment and let's change it to the date that we received the payment. So we received this check a week after the invoice. The invoice was dated February 2nd. We received it on the 9th. All right, so now we're gonna save it. And there we go. We've completely cleaned up this category, which is great. Let's come back to the profit and loss. Notice unapplied cash payment income is off the profit and loss, which is also fantastic. All right, so there we go. So that is how to clean up. Those are the two most common reasons that you will see that is because there is an invoice payment that is it, you didn't check off the invoice it goes to, or you put the payment date before the invoice date. So just fix up those situations and then it will clear, clear that up, take it off the list. Okay, now I said I would explain briefly what the difference is, because if you left it by default, when you come into the profit and loss, by default, it's going to stay on accrual. And in that case, you would have never seen that unapplied cash payment. So those were things we actually needed to fix, but we wouldn't have seen it because we left it on accrual. Why is that? Okay, so for the first situation where we didn't check off the invoice on the payment, Accrual just means that you receive your income or you count you count your income by the date of the invoice, not the date of the payment. So it doesn't really matter when your clients paid you, the date you count your income is the date on the invoice. So that's this accrual method. So that's why they didn't put anything on here. It never showed up here if you leave it on accrual because they're just going by the date of the invoice. So the date of the payment, even if it's not linked to an invoice, the, that date doesn't matter so much. The date of the invoice is, what's matter, is what matters under accrual. And our second situation where the payment date was before the invoice date, well, QuickBooks thinks that didn't matter so much either because you go by the invoice date, that's when you count your income. So you're going by the invoice date. So even if the payment date was beforehand, we're just counting it by the invoice date. So that's where it didn't bring it to your attention. So if you are on accrual, 
it's good once in a while just to check just to click cash and just check if you see unapplied cash payment because in those cases even if we were on a cruel um, cruel method business those are things we still needed to fix those things sh should still get corrected even if you're on a cruel so that's where it's good once in a while just click on this version come check it out see if there's anything no nothing's here so we're good and then you can go back to your accrual to use the invoice dates for the total income. All right, so that is how to fix unapplied cash payments income. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.